Hey folks, Ron here. I want to get straightened out here, literally and figuratively straightened out. So today I'm going to be doing, I've been excited about this one. This is a great story and it's a beautiful house. And what almost invariably, almost always happens is when I'm getting close to a house and I'm ready to film the house, looking at the house, a car pulls in or a car pulls out. So a car with a personalized license plate drove right in. Just as I was at the house, it was a Tesla. And of course, when the gate was open, I was hoping to film so you could get a better view of the house, but they opened and closed so quickly that I wasn't able to. But I'm gonna get for you what I can. So today we're gonna to be in the front of the house of legendary boxer. Holy shit. Sorry for that. This guy's coming really, really fast. Look at that. An Audi SUV, you know sense of entitlement sometimes what can I tell you sorry about that reaction <laughs> but he was really coming fast or she anyway um, legendary boxer now retired Sugar Ray Leonard um, fascinating story an interesting story and he has a house or a mansion that I'm going to show you soon and it's almost 17,000 square feet it's got eight bedrooms Look at this home here. It's a beautiful home in a beautiful neighborhood. As you can see, though, there's a hell of a lot of traffic and a hell of a lot of uh, traffic and construction. Look at that sign there. Stop, dead end, no outlet. Don't even think about it. There's a guy on a bike. This can go down and turn around if you want. You want to? My little guy with me. You ready to go down the hill yet, pal? Not yet, huh? Okay, well, let's talk about the great Sugar Ray. Sugar Ray. I am referring to some notes because there's a lot I wanted to say. Um, Sugar Ray was born Ray Leonard. That's his name, obviously. And he was named after Ray Charles, his mother's favorite singer. In his professional career, he had 40 fights. He won 36 of them, and 25 of them were by knockout. Uh, he was the first boxer to earn a $100 million purse, and he was voted, well, he was called Boxer of the Decade for the 80s, which is interesting because I guess he surpassed Mike Tyson, even though they were in a different weight class. Um, Ring Magazine named him the ninth greatest fighter in 80 years. It's, it's quite an honor. So we're talking... Uh, a boxer who has been through up and down. Wow, as I show you these houses, excuse me, I get off track, but look at these hose, homes up on the hill. Look at the staircase here leading to the top of this one. You see that? This is a dead end, so we got to turn around soon, little guy. Anyway, when Ray Leonard was young, according to his mother at least, he was a shy kid. He, he read books, stayed home, played with his dogs. Like to walk his dog like I do, um, read comic books, and she said she never was called to the school. I presume she means high school to have to deal with any problems, disciplinary or academic or otherwise. Um, he uh, has an older brother. He has five siblings. Look at that view, by the way. Can you see the ocean? Probably not with the glare, but we're looking down the. Well, maybe we're looking down the canyon. And there's the ocean. Uh, he has an older brother named Roger, and Roger started fighting before Ray. And um, Roger is doing pretty well. He started to win trophies. They started boxing at a recreation center near where they were growing up. And he started. Roger started to win trophies, and he kind of goaded Ray into you know the competitive spirit and to go along and box with him as well or start boxing. And uh, hold on for a minute. Okay, now we're rocking and rolling again. So, uh, Ray actually was boxing then. He was so enthusiastic about it that he started boxing early. And at 16, he was already lying about his age to get in various competitions um, that he wanted to box in. I know what I'm going to say, but I don't want to miss anything first. Because I'm going to try to go in somewhat of chronological order. He made the Olympic team in 1976. I think that's the first time I heard of him, and I remember him, obviously, because of the reference to Sugar Ray Robinson, Sugar Ray Leonard. Ooh, there's people walking on this dead-end street. Why not? 
What does this say here? Oh, pick up after your dog. So I think we're coming to a school or something. We'll find out. Uh, anyway, so he did very well. He, I believe he was 5-0 and in the 76 Olympics. And once he was there, he stated that it was, stay away from the gutter. The dog likes to drink out of gutters. And after the Olympics, he said it was a dream fulfilled. And then he was retiring. However, unfortunately, he was slapped with a paternity suit from his girlfriend, who actually went to the Olympics and was with him and didn't tell him anything that was going to happen here. You know, she didn't want to mess his head up, she said, before the, before the Olympics. So he was slapped with a paternity suit. And actually, I believe they did a paternity test. And then his both his parents got very ill after that. So he needed money. He decided to turn pro. And I guess it paid off for him in the end, huh? seeing as how we're going to see his eight bedrooms, 17,000 square foot home soon, or at least the outside of it. Uh, I think we're coming to the end of the street. Yeah, we are. Going to have to find out who lives here, huh? No private, it's private, no turnaround, no driveway. There's the ocean again. Look at the view that they have. Can you see it? A lot of glare, I know. Come on, here. Somebody's house. What are you doing? So, I don't want to talk, you know, there, I could talk endlessly about Sugar Ray's career, but just to say that he was an absolutely fat. Oh boy, I'm stopped again in my tracks. Look at that view. See the ocean past these homes here? This is what you call an ocean view home, and I want to show you something else here. Look at those homes down the canyon there. Beautiful, huh? Beautiful. And the ocean again. There must be a trail here because that guy just biked into oblivion. Like the end. Oh, there is a trail. That's where they're all coming from. Look at that. These guys live on the edge of the world here. Edge of the world. What a view. Cameras all over. Like I said, that's the new thing. It's not just ring cameras anymore. Now it's actual cameras. Oh, there is a trail. That's where everybody's coming from. And there it is. But we're not going that way. We stay on cement, not dirt. Look at this, they blocked. Oh, it looks like a fire road or something down there. All right, folks, well, um, Sugar Ray got married in 1980, finally. And unfortunately, he was divorced in 1990. And his ex said that he was abusive physically sometimes usually having to deal with when he was drinking or cocaine abuse, cocaine use. First he denied it, then he said there was some truth to it, and he said that, among other things, um, as his career was kind of winding down, he was depressed, and, you know, substances kind of filled the void. Let's look at that view again, down the canyon. But things did turn around for him, and he was married actually to his current wife in the home that we're going to look at soon. Uh, and it's funny because it said, I was reading an article on it, and I, I'll have to review exactly when they were married, but it said $8 million home. That was a long time ago, because I'd venture to say this home is worth at least $20 million now, probably more. Okay, folks, so in a few minutes, uh, we'll be at the home, and we'll see what we see. I'm going to pause here, and we'll see you in a second. Actually, here I am again. I want to show you some of the neighborhood. Why not? It's just beautiful. Just beautiful. As we make our walk back. These homes are all in canyons and they're all off Sunset Boulevard. And as we know, Sunset Boulevard, or we don't know, I know, maybe you don't know. Oh, there's a giant of a house there. My God. I think we did the front of that house before. Um, Sunset Boulevard goes from the ocean, which we're relatively close to, within three or four miles, to downtown Los Angeles. Oh, I don't know. That's got to be 40 miles or so. And then stop somewhere. I don't even know where. Probably downtown Los Angeles. You know, downtown is the skyscrapers. Well, now I know why all the bikes are coming down here. It's for the trail. Downtown is skyscrapers and oh, graffiti on that house. God, first time I've ever seen graffiti in an upscale neighborhood. Um, but so Sunset goes a long way, and these homes are off Sunset. 
Now that is a giant, giant house. Well, they've got the views. There, they have a statue of a bear up there. I don't think it's stuffed. It looks like a bear, but not a real bear. The bear's a little bit of the ocean, can you see? So we've got the canyon view down to the ocean. So it looks like we're between two canyons here, and I guess that's where the hikers are going. But what I was saying was, you know, sunset runs, and then it's kind of flat when you get to... I'll show you that house again. Sunset, it's kind of flat, and then you'll make a turn, and within two miles, these hills start, and these canyons. So they're very sudden and kind of steep. This is not Sugar Ray's house we're looking at. His is on a flat street, which we'll be at in a minute. I say a flat street because, like I said, you're on a flat street, you make a turn, and then you're on a windy canyon road just a third of a mile away. It's another beautiful... Well, here's the house that we've been... I've been photographing, and it says, come here, you. No, 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 no. It says, uh, beware of Gog. Dog does bite. Well, okay, no trespassing. So we'll have to make note of this one later. Big camera out front, too. Okay, well, come on. Be back with you in a flash. Got to be close enough to see. So a lot of these homes, you can see behind me, I don't know, you can't see with the glare, but behind me is the ocean. And some beautiful, again, some beautiful, beautiful homes here that we're looking at. And I'll tell you one thing about the very upscale neighborhoods of Los Angeles. Almost always big construction going on. Sometimes the, the construction workers and landscaping guys leave at four o'clock in the afternoon. I've learned from experience, but many times it's, it's longer than that. I wish you could see what I'm seeing because through this house you can see all of the city. We're not on that big of a hill, but it's a big enough hill to see the city and the water. Oh boy. These guys. She's in a nurse's outfit. Maybe it's a maid's outfit. I don't know. Looks nerd. It's scrubs. It looks like scrubs to me. But she's minding those dogs. Wish I had somebody to mind my dog sometime. No, no, don't bark at the vlogging guy. Leave him alone. Okay, back with you in a sec. Okay, well, we went the wrong way and we got a little lost. But we found our way. We just got past where we were supposed to go, probably because I was talking to you guys. Come on now. There's another beautiful one, huh? Beautiful white gate, two-story. Looks a lot like the Kurt Russell house that I did yesterday, where Kurt Russell came out and said hello to me before I started filming, however. That was on the plus side. There's another city view. If you can see it a little bit. A little bit looking down to the city. A minute ago, I could see the huge Getty Museum sitting on the hill, visible from some of these canyon neighborhoods. It's an art museum, and it's humongous, and the views are spectacular in the evening. Okay, you were almost there, so let's not keep the folks waiting as you pee on more dirt. It's a beautiful home, huh? A lot of garden right? Another view of that house behind me. You see that city view? Come on, you. Come on. Come on. All right, I better pause again. I know this is boring. Okay. I want to start with the house before the house, before Sugar Ray Leonard's house, because as you can see, this one is just as ostentatious. I mean, it's got a huge gate and a hedge, and it's really all we can see. They really want their privacy. I guess I can understand why. Okay, finally, coming up to the house. Get my head out of the picture, and this is it. 
See, I have to look to see what you guys are saying. That's the situation. And that's it. Here's the house. Like I said, I saw a Tesla pull in before. And um, I could see three other cars in there. Beautiful house. Beautiful home. Sign about deliveries. No trucks inside. Nice ivy crawling up the walls there. So that's it, folks. That's behind this gate is the home of Sugar Ray Leonard and his wife. And beautiful area, beautiful neighborhood, a lot of construction going on around here. Thank you very much for watching. He's got a big hedge, too. Here it is. And we're coming up down the construction. Big hedge. So a lot of property here. A lot of property. And the house across the street is also under construction. So it's just all construction all the time. Okay, folks. So, again, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. My name is Ron. What's our time? Okay. Really appreciate it. Please. Uh, if you like my channel, please subscribe. And if you do subscribe, please hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button. Therefore, you'll get an indication as to when I post. And please give me likes and give the individual videos likes too because that does affect in a very positive way the algorithm of my channel as far as YouTube and uh, really grinds things up and starts things moving in, in a positive direction for me. And if you like, please give me comments. Okay, folks, again, my name is Ron. I really thank you for watching and listening. Uh, this was a fun one, wasn't it, and all the canyon views? Okay, folks, and we'll see you at the next location. Thank you, and bye-bye.